Hi, and welcome back to RV Adventures Big and Small. Uh, today we've got a couple things for you. Mm. This episode's going to be about uh, how to make a cappuccino or espresso uh, when you're in a Class B van or a small camper of some sort and you just don't have the storage space for an espresso machine and a coffee machine and you want to make it inexpensive but you don't want to have all the uh, space taken up by two big devices. And the second part of our episode will be a little bit of a, a rant or um, I call my new motto uh, as far as dealing with RV manufacturers and RV dealers. Um, and the motto is called Trust But Verify. Stay tuned. Hello, we're in the Rossi right now, and uh, I wanted to show everybody what we do when we want to make a cappuccino. Um, we have an espresso machine, it's a, a super espresso machine, but it takes up so much space. It's good for our larger motorhome, but for the van, it would take up too much real estate uh, to be on the counter here. So. I didn't want to buy another espresso machine, a smaller one, although I could, but I thought, why not use what I'm using in my for my one cup coffee machine, which is called the Chillux, and I'll put a, um, I'll put a link uh, for Amazon for this uh, uh, coffee maker, because it does a very nice job. And using a special type of uh, K-cup, it's uh, Illy Forte, um, Coffee Cafe, and it's uh, it's very very good for making what tastes very much like espresso. Of course, it's not espresso, but it comes very close to it. And when you make mix it with milk um, and a cappuccino, very very good. It tastes very good. So anyway, let's get started. So I've got the generator going right now pop that in. Um, this is about two, um, two shots of espresso. So I'm going to use that as a, a guide for mixing, for making my espresso drink. there and of course I missed the hole so I'm going to put just a little bit extra in there hopefully it doesn't run over So we um, we wanted something that was small that'll fit on the counter that I can put away up in the cabinet when we're done, you know, using it and making our drink. Um, the other part of this is we have a, a thing called a milk frother. It's a Befano, and it does an exceptional job. I had no idea. I got this. I had no idea how good a job it does, but I'll show you. This Chillux doesn't take that much power, so the generator I've got, I've got a 2,000 watt generator, and I've got the air conditioning was running, and uh, at the same time I was uh, making my espresso-like drink. There we go. Ah, 
smells good. Now, what you will notice, it's nice and dark, but there's no crema on top of it. Um, but it is, for all intents and purposes, it is very much like an espresso, other than the crema. So, now, what we're going to do is make our milk. I fill this up just to, the, not quite to the bottom line down there. Might have heard that tick tock. That's uh, the coffee man. Solar powered coffee man. He used to have a mask on, but I took it off. see that sort of a little bit of tape on his face. That's actually left from his COVID days. <laughs> okay, milk frothing is done. Simply take that off, take that off. Look, I don't know if you can see this, look in there. This is just the, the most beautiful foam. So, what I'm do pour it out. If you like a real thick, creamy cappuccino, this really does it. Look at that. Just beautiful. Oh, it's good. It's really good. And you see how quick and easy that was. Cleanup is also quick and easy. Now, one thing I will recommend when you're in a motor home, I recommend when you clean out this, this milk, that foam in here, don't put it in your drain put it in a separate container that you can later dump somewhere else. Um, you don't want to end up putting all this milk, excess milk products into your drain because trust me, later you can have some odors coming out. But uh, anyway, simple as that. Bifano, milk frother, Chellux, coffee maker, espresso almost, espresso-like. And using the Illy Forte, Forte, I'm sorry, K cups. Hope you enjoyed that. Give it a try. I'll put the links down below so uh, you can see what the cost is. I think the Chalux is about $39.99, and the Bifano uh, Milk Frother, um, which by the way I did one way. You could do it with a less foam, or you can just heat it, uh, or you can just stir it. They have different functions here. Um, but I think that's about $35.99. But I'll put the links down below. Okay, thanks for watching. Cheers. Okay, let's go inside. I'll tell you uh, a pretty valuable tip in my trust but verify section of this video. So I don't know if you can see it, but uh, down here they laid this crooked. And I don't know if you can tell it, that's light gray brown. 
brown, brown, light gray square tiles. All right, so let me tell you what happened here. I saw, I saw online that uh, uh, it was possible to get the flooring re replaced due to yellow spots coming through the flooring because they used the wrong adhesive or did something underneath there and so this orange coloration was coming through and uh, hopefully I'll show you some video here uh, as I'm talking about it this is the flooring that I used to have in here and it wasn't bad but you know people would say hey what'd you do did you spill something here no no it's stuff coming up from underneath and it didn't bother me a whole lot uh, but you know it, hey, it's under warranty let's get it fixed get it replaced so I called up RV1 in Altoona and they said bring it out we'll take a look at it so they took a look at it took pictures sent it to Jayco Jayco said yep we'll, re we'll uh, uh, replace that for you so <clears throat> I uh, RV1 calls a few weeks later says uh, uh, we got your we got your vinyl in got some parts in so we you know, come on bring your van in and we'll get it replaced for you okay so I go in and I tell the guy now, first of all there's and if you saw in the video that I'm showing hopefully I've got this on the camera I can show it to you but there's lines that run uh, the length of the van and I assumed they were going to only replace the lower section of the flooring not that step let me show you here in the step it also had flooring but it didn't have any orange spots up there and I thought well okay uh, just make sure the lines are all going the same way you know and uh, and let me tell you let me back step a little bit here um, my policy has always been trust but verify and so what I do when I take uh, a motor home, and this happened to me in the beginning when I take my motor home in for an oil change um, I specifically ask them to uh, would you come up, mind coming out uh, and just walking around the motorhome with me make sure you know if there are any scratches they're there now and that there are no dents or gouges in afterwards I just want you to verify you know would you mind doing that and everybody's you know sure yeah they're actually very happy to get out uh, from behind the desk <clears throat> well uh, one time I didn't do that, and this is why I have this policy. Uh, one time I did not do that. It was 2015. I had a Class A motorhome. I took it in to get an oil change, and I went back to pick it up. And okay, pay the bill, go on out, get in, and as I'm walking out there, here's a big old scratch in one of the basement doors that I know was not there before. Anyway, I told the guy, I said, I said hey, 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 there's a scratch here. I'm going to need you to repair that to fix it. Well, I don't think we did it. And uh, well, it was not there before I left the motorhome. So well, we have cameras running. I'll I'll look on the camera. Hours and hours later, with the guy not even coming out to tell me what's going on, I, I go back in. I said, "Well, did you see it? No, we haven't seen anything yet. Well, let me look, and I'll I'll tell you where the guy scratched it. Well, we can't do that. So anyway, it was a big long um, argument, and uh, um, and I. <laughs> I got screwed in the end so from that point on I've done the trust but verify except when I took it to RV1 in Altoona I forgot about that policy that I had went out there and what they do they're very smart uh, they take a picture of all four sides of the van when they do service so they can say this is what it looked like before this is what it looks like afterwards uh, yes or no that they made a, a dent or a scratch so I am very smart on their part um, now I'm as mad at them as I am at me for um, when I took the van in and I said um, okay so uh, um, here it is and they said okay uh, and I, I was in a rush I was in a hurry I had other appointments I had to get to and uh, uh, so I left and I didn't ask to see the vinyl that they were putting in I assumed it was the same vinyl because nobody said anything different so they called me up said hey it's all done looks good okay great so I go out there and I open the door and oh my gosh um, the people who designed this van who I have to tell you the designers 
did an excellent job selecting the coloration, the wood, the way it's all designed, uh, to the side wood here, you know, the, the cabinets in back. Um, you don't see cabinets in back that, that don't match. You don't see cabinets back there in a light gray or purple or some other goofy color. Everything sort of blends together and it makes a very attractive looking van and that's why we bought this. One of the reasons was because it looks so attractive. It, the design is good. But anyway, I opened the door, I saw this, uh, these, uh, this light gray which doesn't match anything uh, vinyl on the floor and then I saw up above here on that step not only did does the vinyl not match any of the other decor color wise um, but they laid it crooked on the step let me show you again can you see how the lines of the tile are going along and then whoops so I called the, the, the manager at the RV1 and I said, you know, what the problem was. And uh, he said, well, that's what Jayco sent us. He said, well, I wish you would have told me what Jayco sent you before you put it in. Well, that's just what they sent. You'll have to call Jayco. And, uh, and I said, well, on top of that, you laid that top step crooked. Well, I think that's an optical illusion. Oh, man. You know, why can't people just admit their mistakes and fix them like, you know, nice, normal people should, businesses should instead? So I called up Jayco and I said, you know, the color of this is terrible. This is does not match. Uh, this is not the original vinyl. And they said, well, they don't make that anymore. I said, okay, well, I wish you would have sent something that matched color-wise and in the decor, I mean, what are you putting in the new vans? Well, this is what we're putting in the new vans. Now, I have to say, I think that sounds like a lie. I've looked at a ton of the new vans, uh, the new Jayco's and Ethos, uh, the Jayco um, Swift and the Ethos from Integra, and I've looked at the flooring that's in it, and none of them have this gray tile in here. So anyway, that's the story. So what did I do? I, I tried finding, I went to a number of flooring stores, I used to be in the flooring business, went and tried to find that original flooring, I can't find it, they've stopped making 12 foot vinyl uh, in a large part, very small amounts are made now, but they make the LVT, luxury vinyl tile, we ended up getting 24 by 24 squares that my son's going to install because I don't trust anybody at the dealership to uh, do it, and I'm paying for it myself which is going to be like about 300 bucks to uh, order the uh, tile myself um, because that it, it took a while to find that in fact to, to match the decor and looks in here and not be uh, uh, the wrong color because it is a tricky color to match and blend with um, so anyway my recommendations to you um, going for an oil change bring your motor home uh, camper van in for an oil change or any kind of service make them walk around with you and look to see if there's any scratches dents gouges and if you're having anything installed uh, learn from my mistake ask to see it first because don't count on them being smart and saying you know well hey this is not the original thing this is something totally different don't count on that count on them making a mistake and you finding out ahead of time so anyway Thanks for watching. I hope I didn't rant too long. Um, I hope this is a, some benefit to some people. And uh, um, be sure to click like and click subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.